After the carnage in the last episode, I revisited the scene of the crime. Remembering we had more eggs on hope, I nabbed them and escaped the ruins. The plan was to build a raft and escape down the river. After picking myself back up and crafting what I needed, I got to work. Once the raft was done, I was too heavy to run, but we had to move. Spotted my nemesis and made my way down the snowy hills. Replaced the raft and head down towards the promised land. We had a random visit from a friend, and a close call with a beast. But we reached the Golden Shore, safe from harm. Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Docs and Ark Survival Ascended. As you just saw, I was able to sneak those eggs and escape down to the beach. And uh, I did one more thing in between episodes that I just want to show off to you guys real quick. I've got a bit of a montage. Run the clip! And there she is, in all of her glory. I would like to call her the saucer. <laughs> I've never really built anything on a raft before, so I just decided to be a little bit creative with it. It's uh, hopefully going to help us stay safe. Considering these are technically walls, and I can still see out of them, maybe stuff won't decide to attack me, but uh, 
there is a huge chance that it'll most likely end up just getting destroyed at some point because of a stray attack or something specifically chasing me. But, you know, for now, it should give us a strong start, I'm hoping. And then uh, the uh, I've noticed that the cap sometimes freaks out. Yeah, it's getting all weird and blurry right now. But, you know, it is what it is. It's like it's not really meant to be moving or something. <laughs> anyway, I think the first thing that we need to do is we need to try to hatch those trike eggs that I stole and hope that they actually have a breeding pair in them. I'd really like that more than uh, trying to deal with trying to steal another trike or something, but I guess it is what it is. But then we also need to get ourselves another Tranodon and hopefully they actually live for a little bit longer than uh, 20 minutes into an episode. Oh man, is that a star on something? No. Maybe. Oh my god. Yep, that actually is a prime Tranodon. <laughs> I'm glad we're in a raft. We're going this way. I'm so glad that I built it this way. I can actually see that. So I think I'm just going to park here for a moment, kind of work on collecting a bunch of these river rocks and getting some metal production going. And then uh, we'll try to hatch those trike eggs up kind of a little bit later on. It's almost nighttime now, so we don't want to end up getting uh, blindsided in the dark if we can help it. So we've got ourselves a bit of metal cooking up in both of these at the moment. There actually was yet another update between episodes as well, and I'm very happy about how fast those ones are coming out. But they added these things right here. So this was a Doxterian crystal. You equip on your tool belt and it helps with smaller medium dinos and kind of gives them extra boosts. It does require stuff that I've never found before or whatever, so it's not really something I have to worry about right now, but we'll learn it anyway. And then this right here, a Dox hunting experience storage orb. We're using player's inventory to store up to 5,000 hunting experience. Now, I don't have any genetic string right now, but this is actually not too expensive as long as I can find some. And that'll be amazing to use going forward. So in the meantime, since it's still dark, I'm going to try to get some easy hunting in if I can if I can uh, find anything. Last thing I want to run into is another prime, though, considering that one was over here somewhere. Maybe I'll move the house. Maybe we'll go to a different beach and try to take some stuff out over there. I'm going to head on over to this other little outcropping over here. Make sure they didn't spawn a lead sickness on me or anything, though. I have not seen any, but uh, you never know. Okay, only thing I gotta be careful of over here now is make sure I don't accidentally hit one of those Brontos. Whoa, can't see anything. There we go. Male unique Lystro bomb. Whoa! Oh, okay. Timing was a uh, coincidence. <laughs> I thought for some reason it did like thorns damage. Hey! Oh, you, you took a lot of meat from me just now. Okay, don't miss. That would have been awful to miss and hit the Bronto behind it. We're over 2k hunting experience already. I've spent a lot less time now than I would have in the past. So this is going much faster. I want to kill that man, the uh, moth. It's going to give me a lot. I feel like it's going to give me a lot, especially since it's alpha. There's another pygmy over there. Someday we'll have a pygmy. It will happen. But I am also, if I remember correctly, when you get a pygmy, something happens. So, or it could happen if it fails. So we got to be very careful when we get to that point. Bounty, Calico, Ethereum spotted. All right, so if I see one of those, don't go near it. Okay, we have officially passed 3,000 experience yet again. I'm going to try to get a little bit more, get a little closer to 4,000, and then start hunting down another Pteranodon so we can kind of pick off where we ended in the last one before uh, the incident. The first incident. Well, hmm. the first big incident. That. I like that. <laughs> Something tells me, though, that that is going to be way out of 3,000 range, though. Oh, a pygmy over here. How much health is on a pygmy, by the way? That's it, huh? I feel like killing it would probably trigger something, too, and I'm not going to risk that. I, th I thought about it for a minute there, but there's no way I'm going to push that. Just in case. Affinity 26-4. Yours is 6 th Oh. So, yeah, I would need a lot more for that, wouldn't I? Okay. Let's keep that in mind. I mean, this is only uh, level 35, but it is an alpha, so maybe I'll uh, at least try to get some more stuff out of it. I suppose what I could do is just kind of see what I would get percentage-wise and how much it cost. <laughs> I 
Yay. Nope. Can you get that on, like, on foot? I have not gotten a single strand on foot. Unique alpha. Oh, well. Oh, that gave me a DNA strand. Nice. So that answers my question. So I can get one that way. What else did I get? Torpidity recover. Oh. Okay, cool. Cook everything? Yes, it did. Okay, great. So I've been out kind of on a bit of a hunting spree, and so we've got ourselves a good amount of hunting experience. 3,500 should do. I'm going to pull all the metal here. Metal ingots. Thank you. Perfect. Can I make a rifle? Probably not. How much do I need metal-wise for that? 95? Oh, I can. Great. We're going to make ourselves a rifle and start working on that because, honestly, this is going to make a big difference compared to just that little dinky pistol that I tried last time that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it also gave me a level, which is nice. Uh, we'll put in more into health. I'm also going to start a bunch of spark powder in all four of these mortar and pestles that I have in this back part. So we can get some gunpowder going. There we go, rifle time. I'm hoping that if we can find ourselves a Tranodon today, we can at least try to, uh... Well, we want to get that mate pair first, and then I want to take off and try to see if we can find a blueprint for a rifle, which I'd be very lucky to do right off the bat, but, you know, crazier things have happened. You can dream, can I? Normally I would want to be a lot more organized than this, but given that this mod can destroy me at any moment, I don't think I have time for that. <laughs> How much charcoal do I have total? I'll just give me all of this, put it here, I'll split it into four. 38. Okay, there we go. All four of those are making 38 gunpowder at the same time. Hopefully we have... I didn't have a lot of extra of extra metal ingots, but we'll make a few bullets. Did I have those structures in one of these by chance, or did I use them all? I may have used them all. Oh no, they're in here. I just need a foundation. So just gotta collect a little bit of wood and we should be fine. What do we got here? Ah, uh, it's an alpha, but it's only level 25. I like those colors. Would have been nice. Oh well. Okay. Must have hit that one in a previous time I was here. So out of curiosity, I do want to go and check just how much per feed that high-level unique one over here will take. Assuming it's still there. Oh, hello, Dillo. Level 215 Dillo. Hmm. Can I? I can. Ooh. I mean, obviously, it is just a small Dillo, but it is level 215. Uh, come back to the raft real quick. Let's put you on the saucer. Come on in here, boy. Go chill by the fire. <laughs> nice. We got a dino now. We're no longer all on our own. Don't touch the fire, though. Okay. If I get another genetic string, I might be able to actually craft one of those spheres sooner rather than later. Nope. No genetic string, but more experience is always good. Let's see if he's even still around. Fingers crossed he is. He's a high-level pteranodon. Oh, what's this? Is that just the, uh... Oh! There he is. I'm really not confident in, uh... Actually being able to tame this guy. Wait, it says Megas are roaming. Where? 50, 83? Where am I? <sighs> That's close. That's really close. I don't like that. I need to get back to my boat. What did it say it was? Um, I'm gonna try to get this guy. That looks really fast. It's a pygmy. Okay. Not as worried about the pygmies. I don't know what it said that showed up because I wasn't looking. Come on. No, no, no. I can't accept that today. We will not be killed by a mega on the way back to our raft. Not when we have enough hunting experience to tame another pteranodon. Just going to check everything nearby and make sure that none of these are considered a mega. Oh, man. It's going to be like right there, isn't it? It's going to be like a mega turtle or something be ridiculous. Hello, pygmy. Am I getting closer? It says a mega nearby and a pygmy nearby. I don't know where the mega is. The Tyranodon I want is right there. 
And I'm so nervous about what I might run into considering it says that it's nearby when I go around there. Did that, what would that say? 245 turtle? I go this way though, it says mega nearby, doesn't it? It's just a trike. That's a golden mega trike. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, am I going to be able to get to my base in safe, like safe and sound, or am I just going to die? I feel like if I stay along the outside edge of this beach, I'll be okay. Of course it's over by my base. Why would it not be by that? Where's my pteranodon that I want? This one? Can I place this on here real fast? Oh, I need the bolas, though. Ah, oh, it's landing way closer to those than I want it to. Okay, I'm not seeing it say Mega nearby right here. I might be able to get back into this and be fine. Yeah, it's way over there. It looks amazing, but uh, there's no way I would survive getting anywhere near that. Where's the one, the 210? Turn it on. I, it may be a lost cause at this point anyway, considering the Mega's still here. And they're going to be here for a while. I think I am going to learn from my past mistakes and then just move on and try to find another Tyrannodon somewhere else. I would much rather survive and get out of here than accidentally get uh, killed by that guy. See ya! We're going to move way past this area over here that there were Gigas and Dragons on. We're going to explore a new area of this map. I think it's time. We are overdue from some uh, new scenery, honestly. They can just stay over there and not bother us at all. I would be a little bit concerned about a, a Mega getting too close to the raft also. It could be the Bronto. Considering, I mean, I don't know if the Karcha attacked it because it was a Karcha, or if it attacked it because they're, they were a uh, Prime. I don't know if they're trying to be destructive just because they can, or, or I don't know. I have no idea what that, why that happened. Other than Doc's trying to eat me and destroy me. It does not want me to make progress, but I will defy it. We will conquer this place, and I know that for a fact. Because I will not give up. That's pretty much the only fact I've got. Oh, there's a prime nearby. Great. Man, this map is huge. This beach is massive. Just following along this area over here. I can't even see the map. Why is it not uncovering anything? That's insane. Come on, man. I was hoping there'd be pteranodons over here. But I may have actually just gone further away from where they spawn. At least at this rate, I'm just not seeing any. Got more trikes and stuff this way. Trikes and turtles, parasaurs. One would assume that pteranodons would be with those things. Hello? But this looks like the desert area this way. Kind of where I spawned in that one time. That didn't mark anything. I wonder if this is a good or a dumb idea. So that's where it would have come out if I had just run straight for the door. To get out of that, that area over there. I mean, this scenery is amazing. I do very much like the giant waterfalls and everything kind of th up this way. But uh, I'm starting to think that I may just need to go back from where I came from. I'm going to take a step out and see what, we're, what we have to expect over here. It is raining, so at least I'm not going to die by heat right now. I saw a blue drop kind of nearby this, and I'm hoping it's still there. Oh, it's a white drop. Well, <laughs> it's not, not quite what I was hoping for. But there doesn't seem to be anything up here ready to eat me, so... Oh, they're over there. Everything that wants to eat me is over there. At least right now I'm safe. Fingers crossed. We'll have a drop that we actually get to keep the contents of. Ooh. This will tell me what's in there, which is actually crazy. I, uh... I had noticed it on one of them I did another time. Cool. Spear blueprint. Okay. Not all impressed by what's in this one. But it is our first actual drop I get to keep, so... I mean, I'll take that. I'll take the food. <laughs> I'll take the charcoal, considering I'm literally trying to make gunpowder right now. Okay, well, I definitely know that I don't want to go over there. I was kind of hoping we have a better drop, though. At least something that had some better armor or a better weapon. Oh, but there is a dung beetle right there. Unique dung beetle. I've overstayed my welcome. i got to get out of here. We need to focus on the task at hand and just go get a pteranodon. 
I guess we'll just return back kind of where we were. There were a lot of Pteranodons over there. I'll just have to keep an eye out for any Primes or Megas. And uh, if I can find some Prime meat, at least kind of make it so that they'll be tamed a lot faster, I might be able to get two. If not, I know we're at least good for one on just normal meat. There's a Pteranodon right there, but I do know on this little island I did see some aloes. So I'm a little bit nervous about actually hopping out. We should at least kind of take a look at what we're dealing with here, though, level-wise. 135 female Pteranodon. Hmm. I mean, it landed over here. Is there anything over here that's going to cause me death and pain? Maybe. Maybe, possibly? I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, hello. You're the 135? Yes, you are. I am not going to hesitate any longer. We're going to try this out. Okay, you are trapped in there. I'm going to let you do your thing. I'm going to try to find ourselves some prime meat, if I can help it. There's, I knew that there were some baby turtles just over the hill. Where do those baby turtles go? I know they're here. Okay, where did that raptor go? I don't want it to blindside me, so I really got to make sure that I'm taking care of it first. Oh, I hear it. There it is. Hey, raptor. See ya. You will not get me. First encounter with a raptor. Ugh, all right. Ooh, that dodo has a baby, supposedly. Does it actually, though? I don't hear a little baby anywhere. Pygmy trike. Oh. Wait. No, 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 no. It's going to kill it already, isn't it? It must have killed the baby already. I don't see it anymore. No. Okay, cool. I took care of that guy. At least I don't have to worry about that thing anymore. But I, I just I can't find any uh, prime meat. <laughs> I need some prime meat. Crap, Carno made its way down here. Hello, Carno. Focus on the turtle if you can. Great plan. I'm not here at all. Uh, turtle died that fast. Okay. We're just gonna run then. <laughs> he's gonna get the he's gonna get the pteranodon though. Oh man. Okay, follow me. Follow me. I'd rather you follow me than get the pteranodon. Oops. That's that's bad for me. Come on, turtle. You can help me with this. Don't die, turtle. If you die, he'll eat you, and I'll, he'll get all of his health back. Yes! Thank you. Give me some prime. More than one, please. Thank you. Well, okay. <laughs> now, the only thing I gotta hope for is that that thing is still in there. Okay, prime meat for you. Hello. We're gonna tame you. Enjoy! One of those at 25%? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. A 135 male. That's the perfect pair for mine. There's zero chance I'm gonna be able to get that thing down safely, though. At the moment. Oh. It's an even better pteranodon. Damn it. Just need to solidify a normal one before I try to go for something better. <gasps> There's a baby turtle! Okay, it hasn't fully... Uh, spoiled yet. Let's see if I can get this... If I can pull this off. Oh, yes. Great! Two prime meat tames. Look out. Look out. You are, you are not helping me right now. Alright, baby turtle. There's one in the water right over here. I can do this. I can pull this off. 
That's where you went. No wonder I couldn't find you. I just gotta hit the parent once. If I can hit the parent once, it'll start coming over here and the baby will follow. If I attack the baby once, the parent will follow. There we go. Come to land! There we go. Why are you not taking damage? <laughs> Hello? There we go. Now we're doing some damage to the turtle. I don't want to kill it too fast. We gotta make sure the baby gets to land so I can take care of it too. The one I was really after the whole time. Hello. I don't know if it's been long enough or too long. Fingers crossed not too long. I need to get this uh, prime before it's too late. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Give me that prime. Turn it on my way. Nice. Just one more and we'll have him we'll have it tamed. And I have plenty of hunting experience as well. I should be able to tame another one as long as this one uh, gets tamed soon. I'm gonna run back to our base. I'm gonna make sure I can craft a uh, saddle for it real quick and I'll fly her inside of it so we don't end up having anything stop us. Oh no, there's a Serato right there. I hate that. Why are you here? Please go away. It's only level 25. Come on, tell me you're ready for your last feed. Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Okay, put that saddle on you right now. I'm gonna pick up this foundation. Hop on you. Fly right away. I'm floating on the saddle. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Fly to the base. Let's get inside it before the Shrado even notices that we exist. Should be able to fit inside of a, a double door, right? Trinodons aren't that big. Yeah. We have... We finally have another Trinodon. Okay, great. You stay in here. You don't go anywhere else. We're not going to get ourselves killed by anything else. That Serato is fine. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, I got another one. I didn't even realize I had that. That's amazing. I can actually make... Leave. <laughs> <laughs> I can make it. I can make one of those. Um, I can make one of the experience balls. Kind of want to try to go get that other, like the 135 male that was up there. Uh, just had to deal with the Serato. I'm gonna have these guys be on passive. I'd rather not have it freak out on anything. Pygmy, right there. Hello, Pygmy Trek. Where's the Serato? I don't want to encounter it. I just want to know where it is so I can avoid it. There he is. I got bugs on me. That's fine. I'm going to put this on seven. We're going to get this guy stuck. Hello. You're going to join us very soon. Okay, cool. So we got the mail stuck as well. I'm gonna have to get... I could actually just do this one purely with normal meat, but I want to see if there's any other baby creatures nearby. If we can pull that off, we'll be able to get him out of here so much faster. Oh, that's not good. A unique vanilla Alpha T-Rex? Okay, that's not good at all. Alright, I may have to settle just for standard meat for this guy. That's gonna take a full 12 feeds, though, and that's gonna take a while. Ooh. Do you? You do! I'm so sorry about this. Can I drag the body? I can. I'm going to take this over to the... Right next to the box. I'm only going to harvest it when I need to. Much better choices, much better choices. There you go, sir. We're going to still have quite a bit of uh, experience after this. Oh man, I'm so excited we're going to pull this off. It has been a long time coming, but holy crap. Stay over there. Holy crap. It's honestly terrifying that that's just right within range. Oh no, it's walking closer. No, 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 no. Stay over there. What did I say? There we go. 50%. Should be able to do one more in this round of prime that I've got. And we'll collect more and get the last one. And we'll finally have ourselves a pair 
of pteranodons. You have no idea how excited I am to have this. No idea at all. All right, one more, and we'll be done. I'm going to wait until he needs it, and I'm going to have go and hit the uh, pteranodon, I mean the parasaur again. Maybe I'll just hit it now so I have it when I need it. Because he keeps moving closer, and I don't want to accidentally hit, hit him. There we go. Especially now that that's getting closer. Wait, what was that? Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. We're not having that happen again. There is no way I'm having that happen again. You are pushing me up against stuff and being weird. Come on, chill for a minute, just for a sec. Let me feed you one more time. And we'll get out of here, I promise. Yes! Okay. Pick this up. Follow me, let's go. We're going back to my little portable base. You're gonna meet your friend. You're gonna meet your mate. We're gonna have so many more pteranodons now. And now that I have at least a pair, we can at least upgrade later on to higher level ones, and it'll be really good from there. Does that sound good? That sounds really good to me. <laughs> oh, man. We got ourselves a breeding pair of pteranodons. It has happened. We have made it. I can't get into the base from here. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to steal this, the saddle off of you to get the other one inside. Oh my god, you flew off really far. There we go. Land you inside with the other one. Close the door. Pteranodons secure. And the future of this run has been saved, thank god. Ugh. Okay, so the plan is to start breeding these guys real quick, at least get one of them out, and then I want to go and fly and collect some crystal so we can make ourselves the experience orb. I checked their stats, by the way, and her stamina is significantly better than his. So she's got almost double what he's got by default, and then he's got a little bit more health. It's pretty much the main difference there, and I think he does a little bit more damage in melee, so... Yeah, if I can get the best stats on something and I can get a full-on perfect pair, that'd be even better, but honestly... At this point, anything I will take. And there is their first egg. Does it hatch in here? It's too cold. Okay. So I may be able to remedy that situation. We're going to move the mail over into this corner. Still too cold? How about if I put it, like, right here? Alright, I'm going to have to make a few more things just to make this a little bit easier. Just going to get a little bit of wood so I can craft some standing torches. Okay, let's power all these on. Let's see if this is enough to keep this egg warm. Hey, perfect. So we'll check back in a minute when this thing hatches and we'll see what we get level-wise. Oh, 153. So it looks like we may have at least gotten some of the of the better stats. Which ones exactly? The stamina and the health. I like that a lot. The melee damage is lower, but the weight is higher. So this is almost everything. It is missing the melee damage, but that's okay. Considering I think that's on... Oh, no, that's on the mail, so... Yeah, cool. I wants to go on a walk with me. I don't know if it's going to count inside the raft, but if it does, then great. I don't know if that's going to count, ever. Am I going to have to actually find a way onto the land first? And walking around? Maybe. If I push this way... Will I be able to get the turn enough to get it to walk out? Uh, switch to manual for now. Can you walk in this? No, you, oh! You should not be able to do that. <laughs> I think I broke it. <laughs> it's okay, though. Um, don't land on the fire. Don't land on the fire, you dummy. Can I get you to land? That'd be great. Well, we'll bring you back when he's fall grown up, and we'll take him out for a flying test run. It's almost time. We'll be able to put the saddle onto this pteranodon, take to the skies, and actually see what this place looks like from up there. It has been... It's been a crazy amount of work to even get to this far. But I'm happy with this about, about this being a thing. Okay. Nice. He's fully grown. We'll be able to actually land now, I hope. Instead of being stuck like that. There we go. Awesome. It is still the middle of the night, literally just after midnight, so I don't really want to mess with it too much. 
But I do want to kind of go over towards the area that there was all that crystal. I'm going to have to get some of that for the experience ball. So I'm going to kind of head that way so I don't have to fly too far in the air just in case something shows up on me. The saucer is much brighter with the torches in the corners, by the way. It makes a big difference. So we're coming up on that area now. I'm going to want to kind of keep an eye in the sky before I fly nearby anything. We don't really know how fast this guy is going to be compared to a lot of the other creatures that are around. We're going to fly out on them. We're going to check. We're going to get some crystal. That's kind of the first thing that I want to do. And then... Uh, oh, maybe I'll unload a couple things that I'm not going to want to take with me. We don't need a crossbow. We have the rifle. Make things a little bit lighter for him. As we take our first flight on our buddy here. Not seeing anything about there being a Mega nearby. There's not a Prime nearby. Maybe I will add a little bit of health. Oh wow, that was very little health. Good to know that that is how that works. We have to figure out what stats prefer to kind of do what going forward. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot to turn the doors back on automatic. Let's try this again. Nice. We are in the sky. <laughs> and if I die, I don't really lose. I don't lose the only creature that can help me stay up here. <laughs> Good stuff. We're going to get ourselves some crystal. I don't think that Mega Trike is still down there anymore. Level 85. Okay. We'll get a good look around here in a little bit. First things first, I need this crystal so I can make this orb. Unless this crystal's not real, which apparently that's half not real. <laughs> I learned that now. Alright, are you going to be able to carry this? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Land on the saucer. Amazing. And then let's see if I'm able to pull for one of these. A Doc's Hunting Experience Storage Orb. Oh, I can't put it on my hotbar, apparently. But let me use this to put all of my experience into it. And it says it has 2,125 experience in there. And now I can store it. And I have a lot less to worry about if I were to die out there. Oh, that is a great addition. Very good addition to this mod. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see if I can go get ourselves a drop now. Just going to have to keep an eye out for anything dangerous. I'm also overheating, so we want to try to get out of this area, too. That stamina is really good for a Pteranodon. I remember this beach. I also remember right there. That Rex has made its way right on top of our old platform. It's only level 30, so I'm sure I could take care of it if I really had to. But that guy, or that lady, if I remember right, totally different story. Get some stamina back. Speaking of which, how much do you get in a stamina? Oh, you get a lot more in stamina than, than uh, health. Good to know. Good to know. There's a dodo up here. Male 105 dodo. So you did get the lesser amount of melee damage, but... Uh, ah, that'll do, though. It's, a not, it's not bad for a starting flyer. Is it going to cool down over here at all, maybe? There's a Spino over there. Alpha Spino. What does this say it's in here? Is it worth trying to grab? Nah, it's a bunch of... Just a bunch of, uh... Structures. Oh, it's so nice to be able to be in the sky. You have no idea how much I've been wanting this. <laughs> Gotta be careful of these Argies, though. I think they seem to be much faster than normal Argies. Golden Mega Argy spotted. Okay. Oh, there are floating islands on this map? What? Oh, there's a wyvern over there. I want to run into that. There's a lot I still don't want to run into. Okay, we're hovering over a purple drop now. It's got a bunch of Trank stuff in there. It's got some beer. It's got a fur chest piece. This might be a dumb thing to do. Oh, there's aloes. Yep, see ya. <laughs> Never mind. 
I don't know if they were coming after me, but that noise, that noise means leave. I mean, I'm not really living anywhere that's cold, I guess. I don't really need that fur right now, but it is an upgrade to some of my stuff. Ah, uh, they're over there. Okay. Quickly grab what I want. Throw everything else out. Bullets, beer, the curry. I'll just throw the rest out. Now I'll take off so I don't take any damage from those guys. It's nice to have the freedom to be able to actually collect stuff now. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure there's a chance that I could end up getting something that makes my Tyranodon faster if I'm lucky, but I'm not 100% positive on that. There's something that's 45, 60. Turn it around. Saw that dragon. Oh, there's the Mega. God. <laughs> no, thank you. This map is massive. I can't believe there's only three default spawn points on it. Ooh, a bridge. With a castle. Ooh, is that castle safe? I don't know. It's, considering it's open on the top, probably not fully safe. I've heard that it's really it's a good idea to try to build inside of caves and stuff. The only problem is I don't know where there are any caves on this map. So that's why I saw this structure and I thought maybe. But this it's wide open on the top. Stuff could just fly in. There could be a dragon attack. You know, it won't cover me. Well now that we actually have a way to uh oh my gosh. A mega alpha giga. I'm going to have to land soon. I don't know if I'm going to make it up here. Now that we have a way to fly around the map, though, I'm actually going to be able, going to, be able to explore and find somewhere cool to live. Man, the red trees. I like that a lot, too. Um, even when I'm not... Uh-oh. We are out of stem right now. Um, still somehow moving. If I can land on the other side of this building... I'll at least be able to avoid the RG and the... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it making me do this? Hoop! It just makes you fall? Well, that's good to know. I don't feel like that's normal. Also, wow. How's your... How are you doing on stamina there, bud? Good God. All right, well, I've learned a thing. Stamina seems to run a lot, run out a lot faster than it normally ever does, and when you run out, you don't slowly glide to the ground. You've pushed off. But now I have my stamina back, I can actually make it up here. I am curious what's on the top of these. There's another building up here. As far as I can tell, though, that's the only thing up here. Fly in here. It's got spiral staircase. Definitely wouldn't be able to actually have any creatures in here unless I had the cryopod stuff all put out. Which I really want to double check. Cryopod. I did the I did this. I don't know what that is. Well they do have the cryopod gun and then we have the um, cryo terminal. So there's that. But I also need the element and stuff to even make that kind of thing. So I don't know. I, uh, I may just need to focus on just making the standard stuff for now. Maybe I'll use these instead, though. And then, uh, we'll go from there. This is our first real good look at Amissa from above, and, uh, yeah. It looks like this is gonna be a fun map to do this on. I can't believe it's taken this long to even get to this point, but, uh, we're gonna make it. I am confident that we are gonna make it somewhere. Try to kill this aloe so it doesn't cause us problems. As everything is running up here already. Why are you coming up to me? Did I hit the trike on accident? It's gonna fly in and do some damage.
Nice. I got the 140 try killed. At least. I'm not going to be able to kind of fly in and kill that aloe this way, though. It's already halfway hurt. Ridiculous. Got nine levels, though. That 140 kill definitely helped a lot. What does this drop have, by the way? Anything worth fighting for? Oh, it's got some upgrades. Nothing too crazy, though. Looks like it's mostly cloth stuff. So we gained ourselves a Paragon level with that kill, by the way. Damage increased 4%, damage reduction 3%. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm so relieved that we actually have a way to start exploring this map now. <laughs> oh, man. We worked real hard to make this work. And, uh... Wow, we just got another level on this guy. Let's throw it in a stamina, too. All right. But not only that, we also have ourselves a nice, reliable way to store our hunting experience. So that if I feel like I'm going to go out and try to collect more, and I have a bunch already, I have somewhere I can place this in, you can reuse these. And uh, it's, it's amazing that this is an option. But I think that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything else to bring up about this series or any other one on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to help contribute just a little bit more, I've got links in the description for both the coffee and Patreon. We're currently trying to get a community server up and running, so anything would be highly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.